Mario when we got the Jurassic World Dominion pitch meeting here to react to so I'm behind on pitch meetings I'll have to catch up but this is the most recent one and I just watched the movie so we're gonna we're gonna hit this one first but I do need to watch the Harry Potter one they did and the Mandalorian one they did but let's get this one first one two three Fun so change. you have a new Jurassic World movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. Amazing! I can't wait to see what's going on with uh, dinosaurs. Name. I don't know the characters' names. Nobody does, sir. <laughs> but according to Wikipedia, their names are Owen Grady and Claire Deering. Oh, well, fantastic! So what happens in the movie? Well, it's been four years since about fifty dinosaurs escaped at the end of the last movie. So now they're all over the world. How did that happen? Look, do you want to see dinosaurs out in the real world or not? I mean, yeah, of course. That's like the main thing I want to see. So stop asking so many questions. I asked one question. Well, cut yeah. it out. Okay, I'm sorry. I forgive you, sir. So now the dinosaurs are all over the world. Things aren't going too well. Uh, well, I can't wait to explore what the world is like under those conditions. Oh, and explore that we will, sir. Oh, boy. And a quick now this new segment at the beginning of the movie. Oh, that's <laughs> it. Well, mostly, yeah, because then we got to get into the storylines the fans have really been asking for. Which are a kidnapping plot and a bug problem. Oh, I yeah, didn't know real. that's what... Yeah, that's what the Jurassic fans have been clamoring for, sir. Bug swarms and farming issues and the kidnapping of an angsty teen. I guess that is the natural progression from a dinosaur park movie. Yeah, so Owen and Claire, who both have names, and that's what they are, they've been hiding that Maisie girl from the last movie. That makes sense. I mean, she's the one who let all the dinosaurs loose and caused the I deaths of a bunch that. of people. Oh, no, nobody really seems to care that she did that. Oh, she's directly responsible for the chaos. No, that's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's actually <laughs> this company, Biosyn, that's after her, because they want to study her blood. Blood. Oh, what's their deal? What are they up to? Well, this company's actually run by Dodgson, remember, from the first movie? He was briefly in the original movie, ever so briefly. He sure was, sir. Amazing. So what's his deal now? Well, now that many years have passed, he's transformed into Apple CEO Tim Cook. What? Yeah. And Tim Cook wants to control the world's food supply, so he created these giant locusts that destroy all crops except Biosyn crops. Very evil. Yeah, so Biosyn kidnaps Maisie and Beta, this baby that blew the raptor hat. So Owen and Claire are gonna have to deal with that. Okay. And meanwhile, Ellie Sattler and Alan Grant and Ian Malcolm, they're gonna deal with the bug problem. They're from the original movie. That's right, sir. We're bringing back original beloved characters many years later. Is there any other way to make money these days? I Not know, really. right? No, seriously, is there? Because we're rapidly running out of iconic characters to bring back. Please help. Oh, yeah, no, I got nothing. Dang, okay, we'll figure <laughs> it out eventually. God, I hope so, sir. So Owen and Claire track Maisie and Beta down True, to this though black market dino thing in Malta. Okay, but there's this evil lady Santos who can make raptors attack people by pointing a laser. Uh-oh. So just as she's getting arrested, she points a laser at the good guys. Oh, man. Well, I bet we haven't seen the last of her. No, we have. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so then Claire's gonna have to outrun a velociraptor on foot. How is that possible? They're incredibly fast. Well, she's got a little trick up her sleeve where she's one of the main characters, so she can do it. Oh, neat. Yeah, so then this pilot Kayla helps them escape, and they head over to Biosyn headquarters in the Dolomites, which is also a dinosaur valley. Oh, that's the most exciting type of valley. Sure is, sir. So meanwhile, we're gonna meet up with Ian Malcolm, who's working at Biosyn. Okay. And he's brought Ellie and Alan over to help him uncover Tim Cook's sketchy plans by getting a sample of one of these giant locusts, because, you know, they're both respected individuals. Yeah, they gotta stop Tim Cook from making bugs, for sure. And there's also this guy, Ramsey, there. And at the end of the movie, we're gonna find out he also wants to expose Tim Cook. If Ian and Ramsey were already working at Biosyn, why didn't they get the evidence and bring it to Ellie and Alan? So the original cast can reunite and we can do the thing that every blockbuster has done for the past seven years. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So anyway, while they're sneaking around the Biosyn labs, the plane is gonna get attacked by some flying dinos. Uh -oh. Yeah, and there's only one parachute eject thing working, so Owen's like, well, Claire, we're gonna launch you into the dino-infested jungle because you got the best chance of finding Maisie. Isn't he an ex-Navy dinosaur trainer? Yeah. Why? Never mind. Yeah, so but then he's Owen a man. and Kayla's Chivalry. plane crashes. Oh my god, so they die? What? No, they're fine. Oh, they are. Yeah, it's just a plane crash, sir. This is 
an action movie. That's how planes get to the ground. Right, fair enough. <laughs> and then this really cool looking dinosaur is going to attack them and Owen's going to fall through some ice. Oh my god, hypothermia. Sir, if a big no. plane crash didn't hurt him, do you think some cold water is going to do anything at all? That's a good point. So anyway, eventually we find out that Dr. Henry Wu is the one who engineered the locusts for Tim Cook, but he feels bad about it now. As he should. I mean, that guy made the dinosaurs too. He's caused tons of death. Yeah, but he yeah. feels bad about it now, so he's pretty much a good guy. Oh yeah, no, okay, I see that. I like this guy now. He's a good guy now. And also we find out that Maisie's not actually a clone. Oh, she's not? No, turns out her mom was actually a scientist who gave birth to a version of herself with changed DNA that didn't have the genetic disease that she had. Oh, giving birth to yourself is tight. What? <laughs> what? 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 So anyway, Wu needs to study her blood so he can stop the locusts and save the world. The locusts he made? He's a good guy. He is, yeah. So eventually <laughs> Tim Cook's gonna find out that he's gonna be exposed and he burns all the locusts, but they escape and cause a forest fire. Uh, whoops. Whoopsie, and Owen's gonna choke a dinosaur. He's gonna choke a dinosaur? Well, sir, earlier in the movie, he's gonna stop an 8,000 pound dinosaur in a full sprint using his hands, some rope, and a tree stump. So I think he can choke a dinosaur. That's unbelievable. I know, right? No, I mean, I don't believe that could happen without I his remember arms choking a dinosaur. Off. Well, it's gonna, and then Tim Cook is gonna die, and a gigantosaurus is gonna terrorize the group. Uh-oh, gonna be hard for them to survive a gigantosaurus encounter. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, cause see all the good guys do the hand thing, and then a T-Rex pops out and saves the day. Wait, the, the hand, hand thing. thing? Yeah, you know the thing where Owen puts his hand out, and then all the dinosaurs are like, whoa, 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 whoa. Right. It's like a Jedi Force move, you know, the hand thing. Wasn't that like a thing that just barely worked on the raptors he trained for years? Hey, shut up. So then the T-Rex shows up, and he does a little branding detour. Nice. And he's gonna team up with his friend Wolverine Dinosaur and kill the Gigantosaurus. So it's gonna be a nice triumphant moment. Oh, yeah, that'll teach that dinosaur to uh, be a dinosaur. Yeah, <laughs> got him, sir. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Yeah, and so then iconic good guy character Dr. Henry Wu engineers a thing to stop the locusts. So do you see any repercussions for all the terrible stuff he's done? He does not. So then at the very end of the movie, dinosaurs and humans and animals have kind of learned to coexist. And you know what? It's pretty nice. Wait, how did the events of the movie lead to that happening? Oh, no, that part worked itself out in the background. Oh, well, great. It worked out fantastic. So what do you think? Well, it sounds like it sounds like money. Yeah, you think critics will like it? But no, I didn't say that. <laughs> Hi everybody, Ryan here. Thanks for watching that pitch meeting. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already... Yeah. Very, very just middle of the road movie for me. I enjoyed it. This is what I tell people when they ask me. Like, I'm telling them, I didn't have a problem with it. I enjoyed it while I was watching it. I'm not really going to recommend it to you. But I'm also not going to tell you to not watch it. You know what I mean? Does that make sense to you? This is funny. I enjoyed it. I had a good laugh there. So, let me know what... Y'all thought in the comment section below, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.